hey guys welcome to another video and today i'll show you attendance management app with some extra features and enhanced ui so let's start uh, with the administrative app which is for admin and faculty use so while uh, creating this project you have to create a super user with admin privilege which, which uh, will help you to further uh, use this project so i had already uh, created an admin uh, account to start this app you can create uh, multiple admin accounts with different email ids so this is uh, admin dashboard how it's uh, look like so this is the various functionalities which is uh, present over the navigation drawer like the profile options and batch query occasional activity and account activity uh, so in the profile section uh, you can see the name profile picture and the privilege that that account has and also you can uh, just tap on this and you can change the profile picture from here so in the batch query uh, you can add a new branch uh, like electrical civil mechanical information technology uh, whatever uh, i'm creating a branch like computer science and uh, engineering for now uh, let's create one uh, more branch let's say information technology and once you are done with the new batch you can create a class type like what type of class uh, do you want to create like it's a lecture practical viva tutorials or what i'm just creating uh, one which is a lecture and after creating a class type you can create a multiple divisions like in a particular branch there are different different section a b c d and all so i'm just creating uh, one uh, like a section you can create a multiple uh, whatever uh, you want let's say admission year the batch uh, the year in which that particular batch has taken the admission so let's say it's a 2021 batch and the current uh, academic year like uh, like uh, they are in first year so um just starting with the uh, first year right uh, you can create first year, second year, final year, uh, or pre-final year, whatever you want. So let's create one more, like second year. Uh, second year. Yeah, once you are done with this, uh, uh, there is another feature in the occasional activity, which is create a multiple student account. Uh, so basically, uh, this if you want to, uh, give login credential to your students so that they can uh, see their attendance uh, details so you have to firstly uh, register and create their account so let's say i'm creating an account for 2021 batch for a computer science whose rule numbers start with one seven uh, uh, or two one or one eight or whatever like the things that are being uh, followed in your institute so let's say mine is a start with this uh, let's say uh, there is there are um, 60 student in that particular uh, branch so this is and you have to provide a default password which they can change whenever they want so yeah so i had already registered all those students so there are uh, some other feature like change password so you just have to enter your password and it will send an email to that particular email address and from there you can change your uh, password this particular feature can also uh, be used when you uh, forgot your password so yeah this is how it's worked so uh, 
to take the attendance firstly you have to create a faculty account so let's say i'm creating a dummy faculty like uh, dr hitesh dr hitesh let's say it's hitesh at the rate uh, let's say gmail.com and the password is one two three four five six we are just creating this password so that like we can uh, remember this uh, throughout explaining this project so yeah you can once uh, the account is being uh, created by you or you are done with it you can forward it to uh, that uh, faculty and they can change it using uh, that uh, reset password option so yeah uh, let's create one more faculty account uh, let's say dr saurabh uh, let's say dr saurabh chan or whatever you want saurabh chan uh, let's say the email id is uh, saurabh.chan uh, at the rate hotmail.com or or let's say xyz college or whatever three four five six so uh, you can create an, um, any number of uh, faculties account you want and the next option is uh, remove faculty so like you can uh, select uh, the faculty account from here and you can uh, remove them from accessing this app so once you're cl clicking on this delete uh, option just enter the admin password and the profile uh, will be deleted so yeah add subject option will help you to assign a subject to that particular faculty let's say uh, just assign a web development uh, to dr hitesh yeah dr hitesh let's say academic year is 2021 we we had just created a one so there is only one option let's say first year select branch let's say computer science and engineering uh, division let's say a and lecture type and just we have to uh, create a, a subject for uh, this particular enrollment number people so yeah so the subject is like being assigned to dr hitesh and uh, let's now create a one more subject like it's a uh, computer networks and uh, let's assign this to uh, dr saurabh chan let's say the same academic year or same batch and same division class type to the same student So yeah, this is how you can assign subject to that particular faculty for taking the attendance and the next is a uh, delete attendance report. So like you, you want to uh, delete any attendance report for any academic year, uh, you can just use this option. So as uh, this is the account for uh, admin, so all the subject uh, that is uh, being currently taught to that particular institution uh, a student all all those will be present over there uh, so currently there is two just you have to stick on this click on delete just enter the admin password and the attendance will be deleted so there is a next next option which is download attendance report so this option is basically help you to create an excel file to uh, the subject uh, for which the attendance is already being taken uh, at any uh, point of time so let's say uh, it's a hitesh so just click on fetch attendance once the attendance is uh, getting fetched you just have to click on download uh, report once you clicked on uh, it uh, the attendance will be shaped in your uh, mobile phone in a form of excel excel sheet so yeah you can use this option to uh, see your attendance so yeah you can see the excel file is uh, already uh, getting created so all the attendance uh, will be present in this uh, file currently we uh, haven't taken any attendance so it will be an uh, empty excel file uh, with the subject name only so yeah uh, i think uh, we are done with this uh, admin app uh, let's move to the 
uh, faculty section so we had already created an account for our two faculty which is for dr hitesh and dr saurabh jain firstly let uh, login to hitesh uh, hitesh account and perform some actions so yeah this is a faculty dashboard how it's uh, look like in the navigation drawer uh, the functionalities which is present uh, looks something similar to admin but uh, having uh, less privilege like uh, there is a profile section same as we had in uh, admin section and there is a download attendance sheet so uh, this feature is uh, uh, also present for the faculty uh, as well as for the admin but uh, the difference uh, between those is like uh, admin can download and see the attendance of all the faculties but in the case of faculties they can only download and uh, see the attendance of only assigned subject and uh, let's say dr uh, hitesh is only uh, being assigned to talk web development and something else so he can see only those subjects for which he has been assigned to told uh, to taught uh, to taught their students right so yeah this this uh, feature is uh, also similar uh, to the admin plus but with a less privilege yeah so yeah a reset password option is already same and the next thing is log out from the account so let's take an attendance so here all the subject list will be present for which uh, they are authorized uh, to take attendance so yeah we we had only created a one uh just we have to select a date attendance uh weightage depending upon uh, the faculty need and the next option is uh select present student only and select a student absent only so uh this feature is basically help when there are uh let's say uh, there are six to six student in a class and all of them are uh um let's say absent and only two students are present today so just go with select present student only option and click on proceed let's say rule number one and two are only present so we will take uh, one and two mark as present we'll click on submit option we'll click on yes so uh, once the attendance is getting uploaded uh, you will get a pop-up menu with the details like uh, today only two students were present 58 were absent and total number of students were 60 so uh, there is let's explore another options as well uh, let's say today uh, all the students are present and only roll number uh, three and four are absent okay so what you have to do you have to just mark roll number three and four as absent and just click on submit option and just click on yes so you can see today uh, 58 are present two are absent and 60 uh, student are total in that particular subject so basically this feature uh, will help you to faster your attendance process yeah so when you are done with the attendance like you can see your attendance as well uh, we will select the subject so there is a two option to see the attendance either you want to see the attendance by date or you want to see the collective attendance so firstly let's see the collective attendance for that particular subject so here uh, the total attendance will be present with all the details like row number one and two were present for all the days and like uh, we can see row number three were absent for that particular day and yeah this is how it's work this particular uh, student is present only for one day this particular student is absent for both the date so uh, there will be a percentage with the different colors uh, different uh, depend upon uh, the bar that you have decided like for uh, one having the attendance less than 75 percent will be shown as uh, red one with just 75 and above with having a green color or some else color and 100 percent attendance will be shown as uh, this uh, color so how this is work yeah so like once you uh, select the attendance all the dates will be uh, present for which you have taken the attendance so you can select the date and see like in this particular date which absent or which student were present which were absent and uh, there is one more functionality is with this feature like you can just tap on this and you can change uh, the attendance like 
if uh, if you want like uh, let's say uh, you had already taking, taken the attendance in the class and one student came uh, one or two minutes late and he just missed that attendance session so like at the end or whenever you had time you can uh, mark their attendance as a present so yeah yeah let's say let's say uh, rule number three let's say make it present okay uh, yeah so yeah rule number three is present so uh, this is all about uh, this administrative app that is for uh, admin faculty use i think we are done with it let's move to the student app so this is this app is only for the student to see their attendance record so let's log into the role number one Uh, with the credentials which is already being provided by the admin while creating their account so yeah so in the navigation we are also having uh, the same uh, option that we had in uh, administrative app like in profile you can see the profile name you can change the name uh, name here but it will only be available for you it won't be uh, reflecting or uh, interfering in that administrative views right so yeah uh yeah so like uh, this option will help you to change uh, your pass uh, password if you want to uh, reset so let's say one two three four five six was the password that is being provided by uh, the admin and i want to change my password so that no one can see uh, my attendance so this is how you can change the password so yeah let's try to log in with the old credential whether it's uh, work or not one two three four five six was the previous so yeah you can see uh, the password is wrong let's log in with the new credential okay so yeah uh, so we'll uh, click on the select subject option and all the subject for which that particular student is being assigned to uh, that particular semester or by the faculty that all will be present over here you just have to click on it uh, like we have we had only taken the attendance for the web development so let's see so here all the attendance record will be present like this particular student is having a hundred percent attendance and zero absentees and the day for which the attendance has been taken yeah let's see another uh, attendance which we haven't taken attendance yet like the which is a computer network start by uh, so yeah there is there isn't any attendance record so this is uh, all about this app uh, hope you like the project thank you for watching